Sarah, what's your response to the fact that I've just obtained leaked documents from the University of Sydney where they don't think there's anything wrong with students chanting intifada? Well, Shari, good evening. And the revelations that you have just broadcast are frankly shocking. And it is now clear that the University of Sydney is not a safe place for Jewish students and staff. This is appalling. Mark Scott needs to immediately intervene and frankly fix this chaos at the University of Sydney. There are very um, strong policies at all universities, including at Sydney, which guard students against harassment, intimidation, threats of violence. And the bottom line is, Shari, the universities are not taking any action. I just heard you reference uh, the University of Sydney statement. They talked about taking some discipline, uh, disciplinary action, but have they taken any action against students guilty of this horrendous and shocking conduct? But this, uh, look, Sherry, I, I have to say, and I'm listening to this all unfold right mm. now on air, this is appalling. Uh, whoever is given this advice needs to go from the university. And what the hell is the Minister for Education doing? Mm, uh, why has point. he not intervened? Why has he not demanding that these protests be shut down, that the rule of law, frankly, be followed, that the police be called in when necessary, and that the university comply with its very broad-ranging policies? Kick these students out, expel them, um, take their enrolments away. Um, you know, tinkering at the edges is not good enough. And as we've talked about a few weeks ago, Shari, two academics from Tel Aviv University were barricaded yeah. into a room. There's meant to be an investigation. What has happened to that? Mm. It's an absolute dog's breakfast. And I... Uh, but the buck stops with the Minister for Education, who is responsible mm. for the higher education sector. I've called for him to resign if he can't get this under control. The government has lost all control. And frankly, this is absolutely shocking. They just seem... I mean, Jason Clare gave me a strong for him statement last night, which I read on air, but it just seems like the government wants to ignore this issue. They want to hope it goes away. The reality is, and, and this isn't just the University of Sydney, we're seeing similar at Melbourne University. Um, you know, the anti-Israel sentiment at these Australian universities have been simmering even long before October uh, the 7th, but this escalation is a copycat of what mm. we're seeing unfold in Columbia and other American universities. You know, what is the best way to handle this? We've seen that overseas uh, police have been called, students have been arrested. Um, that hasn't happened here. I can tell you that a, an email went out to parents of students or to the students themselves who are graduating at the University of Sydney tomorrow and they say, be aware that there's the encampment. I mean, all of these students are going to have their graduation <laughs> photographs with the pro-Palestinian encampment and probably the loudspeaker chants in the background disturbing the whole thing. Why can't the university move it off, shut it down? Well, Sherry, it is a direct breach of the rules of the university to camp overnight. So, number one, get the police in and arrest these students and get them off. Um, shut down the tests, are they tents and these tent cities. Um, secondly, um, I was looking at the same document that you were looking at, which is the Freedom of Expression at the University of Sydney Guide. Now, this is a guide, would you believe, for protesters and activists, and it makes it clear the university can take reasonable and proportionate measures to restrict speech that causes or is likely to cause an imminent risk of public disorder, undue interference in the rights of others, uh, including in relation to the grounds of race, colour or national or ethnic origin. So here are these policies. What is the Vice-Chancellor doing? And what is the Prime Minister doing? Because, frankly, uh, the Minister for Education, Jason Clare, he has shown no in interest in taking the strong action and saying, I'm sorry, I'm not going to cop this on my watch. Uh, he has the highest number of Muslims in his electorate of any in the country. He's more concerned about protecting his own political survival, frankly, than anything else. The Prime Minister needs to intervene and mm. put into the job a Minister for Education who is prepared to stand up to these universities. It is, as I say, it's appalling. And as for the kids' excursion protest, where mm. children were encouraged yes. to chant those horrific, violent 
um, chance. It is just unacceptable. Why hasn't the university taken strong action? Uh, frankly, that academic from Macquarie, um, mm. Randa Abdo, Abdul Fattah, she should be sacked. Her grant for $837,000 mm. uh, must be cancelled. And again, this is a complete weakness of leadership from both the universities and the minister.